connect your smart power monitoring circuit breaker. All you'd have to do on the device is click the connection button for five to 10 seconds until the small Wi-Fi indicator light starts to flash rapidly. On your application, you can click the plus sign in the top right hand corner, say add your device, and the device should automatically pop up to any nearby devices in the vicinity that are in pairing mode. You can click add, enter in your Wi-Fi password and click next. All you have to do is wait for the devices to pair over your network. This usually takes around 30 seconds. Now that the device is paired, this device has already been renamed since it's been paired before, but you can change this to any name that you feel fit. So once it's done, it will automatically open the control panel screen. The device is currently off. If we turn it on, you'll see that the device will now start measuring the current that's going through. This is a very low current device that we're testing on. This is just for, for an example. You can then also shut it down when you need and shut it back on. Under the expense panel, this is where the device can be used as a prepaid meter. It comes with a default password, which can be changed at a later stage. With this, you can charge energy. We've added an extra 50 kilowatts on there. You can then also see on the charge records which other times and dates new energy has been loaded. It will then automatically switch off once it's reached its, its amount of prepaid electricity. Now under schedule, you can set a multitude of schedules. There is no limit to how many you can set, but a good example for this one would be to, to turn your geezer on at 740, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Turn your geezer on, and as a note, you can say before everyone showers. Now this note is just for yourself, just to know why you've put that schedule there. And then for another example, let's say at 10 o'clock, also on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you'd then like the device to turn off. And this is because everyone has showered. Now under the settings menu, this is also a earth leakage detector. You can set an overcurrent alarm within the range of 1 to 63 amps. You can also set an over voltage alarm, which uh, 265 is, is already a good one. And you can also set an over voltage as well as your, your leakage current. This, this is where you can also change your password to whatever password you'd like. For example, 4444. And then your password has then been changed. Now through the right hand corner there, this is where you can then change the name if you want again. It also offers you a third party control through Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, which means then you can use this uh, AI voice recognition to control all of your, your smart devices. Mm -hmm.